Hey friends, welcome to One Little Coder. AI Text to Video is here, and today I'm going to show you how to create your own AI generated videos just on the free version of Google Colab. You don't need fancy GPUs. All you need is a free Google account that you can use to access Google GPU and then create AI generated video. For example, I've asked Superman walking in a beach, and this is what I got. Forget about the Shutterstock watermark. There are memes around Shutterstock watermark at this point. But this AI generated video is just from this text in 37 seconds. So we made a three second video in 37 seconds. No editing tool has been used just purely using Google Colab. I'm going to first show you the demo so that you believe and watch the rest of the video until the end. And then I'm going to show you step by step how to do it. First, let me ask a question. Maybe instead of Superman, I should ask Batman. Batman walking in a beach. When I run this, it's going to take uh, 37 seconds. And uh, as you can see, the time has started and it is going to happen in 37 seconds. Let me give you a bit of context. So this is a model from Alibaba and that model is right now hosted on Hugging Face Model Hub. So we're going to use the diffusers, the library from Hugging Face to handle or access table diffusion. So the same diffusers library can use this now and then create whatever we want. And that is exactly what we are going to use in this particular video. And our task, which we asked Batman walking in a beach is almost finished. The video has been successfully exported. So let me, it took about 40 seconds and let me run that and display the video. Oh, this is actually cute. Um, I didn't expect this cute Batman. Uh, so I'm quite happy with the, the Batman that I've got Batman walking uh, in, in a beach. <laughs> That's quite cute and amazing. So what is happening here? So the model that we are going to use here is called uh, text to video and uh, it is a 1.7 billion parameter model. This model was trained on open domain data and uh, it is from the company Alibaba. As you know, this model was developed by model scope. You can go to model scope and then access it as well. Uh, there is a totally different way to access it using model scope and there are different models. But if you use diffusers at this point, you can access this using free collab notebook and uh, look at the model limitations and all these details. If you want to access this model, you need to have diffusers library, transformers library, and also you need accelerate uh, to speed up the process. Then how to access this? This is quite simple and pretty simple. As you can see, import torch from diffusers, import the diffusion pipeline and a DPM solver. So if you're familiar with stable diffusion, you know, there are different kinds of samplers that we used, we used to use in stable diffusion. So here we are using DPM solver and then a simple utility to export the video like the actual video and then that's it just a few lines of code you have your video ai generated video you can see an astronaut riding a horse darth vader surf surfing in waves and this is actually a new model like a couple of days back a model scope had a different model but this is actually a new model and it can take up to 25 seconds on uh, less than 16 gig we we saw it up, takes about like um, 37, 38, 40 seconds. And uh, let's see how to do this now. So they, you can in fact generate longer videos as well, but we'll see how to do this right now. So this is the model page. I link it in the YouTube description. You can access it. But if you want to just look at the code, it's quite simple. I link this Google collab notebook in the YouTube description. I didn't create this. I just found it online. I link it in the YouTube description. If you want to just like, you don't want to watch this video right away. You want to go start making videos then all you have to do is open the collab notebook, go to runtime, click run all. That's all you have to do. Go to Google collab, click runtime. When you click runtime, just make sure that you have got a GPU. Like in this case, I've got a GPU Tesla T4 machine. Just make sure you have got a TPU GPU and then click run all and you are good to go to generate your AI generated video. But if you're interested in the code part, the rest of the video is going to help you with that. So this is a collab notebook that shows the new text to video model from Alibaba. Okay. It has been integrated with the diffusers library from hugging face. Now, after we checked if the GPU is available, the next thing that we need to do is install torch, which is PyTorch, install the diffusers library, install transformers and accelerate and image IO just for um, image input and output. Once you install all the required libraries, now it's important for us to import all the libraries. Torch setup, uh, sorry, import torch. And uh, from diffusers, you import diffusion pipeline and DPM solver. And uh, from diffusers util, you import export to video just to export the video. Uh, in ipython.display import HTML just to display the final HTML part. 
For example, if you're going to integrate this with a verb application or anything else, you probably wouldn't need this. And base64 encoding for the same purpose. Now load the model, like download the model first. You define a pipe object from diffusion.pipeline from pre-train. You load the model, which is what I just showed you ex exactly, this model path. Once you load the model uh, with uh, torch 16 data type, and the variant is FP16 precision. And uh, next thing is you need to define the sampler, the scheduler. So here you are going to schedule, uh, use the DPM solver, DPM solver multi-step scheduler, and then you enable model CPU offload, enable VAE slicing, VAE variable autoencoder slicing, and then that, that actually finishes your model downloading part. At this point, you would have hit a decent GPU system RAM, so you can see the C system RAM has at this point, like once we download the model, it hits uh, that peak, but still it actually works fine. Like I've tried multiple videos, I mean multiple prompts and it actually works fine. If you have any issues, I think you should raise a uh, uh, GitHub issue with uh, the diffusers library. They should be able to help you out. Now the next important part is you need to give the prompt. Prompt is the title or the text, which is going to be used by this AI model to generate the video. What is the duration of this video? That's quite important. Why it is important? I think I've uh, already explained this in multiple uh, videos before. A video is nothing but a bunch of images stitched together and then made it. It's that. It's what animation is. Anytime you have used a video camera or anytime you have seen a video on YouTube, you would know something like 30 FPS, 25 FPS, 60 FPS. So FPS stands here for frames per second. So how do you stitch these images together will have a lot of impact on how the video looks like. So what you're actually going to do here is you can see that you use, when you say three second video is what you want to generate, it gets converted into the number of frames to create 30 frames. And that has been given here in the number of frames. And those frames are now going to be created using this pipe object, which we already created. We created this pipe object here. And that is what being used here to create the video frames. Just like stable diffusion, you can also give here negative prompt. You can try with a dif different negative prompt and the inference steps, number of steps you want to go and the number of frames, which is what we calculated from the input video duration second. And once you have the frames ready, then all you have to do is use the function export to video and the video path it's inside the tempor temporary file. And for you to display it, you can display this code and how this has been displayed. There are multiple different ways to display video on Google Colab. This is how this has been displayed. So I'm going to hide this right now, not required. And once you save it, the path is being saved here. And that path is being used to display the video. If you want to download the video, right click it, save us, you can download the video. It's quite straightforward. So let me quickly run through the code again. Check the GPU first, install the required libraries, torch, diffusers, transformers, accelerate image IO. Once you have all these things ready, import all the required libraries. After you import all the required libraries, download the model, set up your scheduler, a sampler, enable the model CPU offload and enable VA slicing, and then give the prompt, select the number of video, du video seconds duration. From that, calculate the number of frames and use pipe object to create actual video frames. Make sure you also include negative prompts and finally export the video and if you want display the video or just download whatever you want. That takes us to the next activity, which is quite going to be fun, where we are going to check. Batman playing with a cat. Okay, maybe I'll do two seconds, three second um, looks slightly, you know, it will take a lot of time for uh, me to show this code, show this demo without editing it. But let's see, so two seconds, it ideally should take around like 25, 26 seconds. Let's see. So it, we have already hit 32%. And the other things that you can do is if you know FFmpeg or you can use any video editing tool, you can create videos scene by scene and download the scene, uh, download all the individual videos together, stitch it, and then you will have uh, your own like a movie, AI created movie completely using Google Colab. Like the fascinating thing is it's all happening in Google Colab, the 16 gig free GPU that we got. So running this, once I run this, you can see the, <laughs> the, the Batman is playing with cat. I mean, it's two seconds. Like had it been like more than this, this would have been funner. 
funnier but uh, this it still is quite amazing i think i'll close the video here this has been quite a fun uh, like a fun video to make especially like i was so excited to see tix2 video couple of days back i published uh, uh, another tix2 video J runway ml's gen2 model a lot of people have been since then asking me about give me a go collab google collab demo of how to create a tix2 video thankfully we have this possible thanks to the diffusers team for like shipping quite fast with this model and i hope this video was helpful to you the google collab notebook and the model link will be in the youtube description make sure to check it out if you like this video share it with your friends see you in the next video happy prompting